So I was reading a comment and I was trying to reply to it. It was about a uh, what do you call it? Oh, female on female violence in jail that they never want to talk about. And this other guy was talking about uh, how lesbian couples have more domestic violence than heterosexual couples do. So I started talking about my two experiences with uh, two lesbian couples. Not two lesbians as a couple, two lesbian couples. The first lesbian couple I had an encounter with, uh, one was black, one was white. They uh, did time in uh, Purdy. And I think they both were doing quite a bit of time and they got out after seven years. They went in straight and came out lesbian. I met them, um, they asked me for a cigarette. That's how I met them. And from there, I mean, just started hanging out and started doing shit. Start chasing after females. But yeah, after a while, about maybe a year or two, shit started going south with them. I, I don't know what happened to them after and we're done doing what we're doing. I think one of them moved back to California and the other one moved out to the, back out to the San Juan Islands. And this is probably between 2009, 2011, maybe 2012. <clears throat> but yeah, the second lesbian couple I met and they're both uh, native mix, Mexican. Um, and she made the fucking news worldwide a few years back. It, when, when I saw it on the news, I, I had to ask the lesbian chick that I was friends with, you know, because I planned on having, having her babysit my kids, you know, and then I started asking her questions. You know, I started asking me, it, it, could it be possible that, you know, she was fucking around with another female that you didn't like? Or that female that Got lied to, saying that she's going to leave you for her, or, because that female, she, she wasn't known to be hanging out with men, so obviously, the only way, you know, a, a man was going to be around her is if other females set her up, so it, if they're going to continue to try and blame this on men, they should actually start asking all her lesbian friends, all her female friends, all the females she used to party with. 
I mean, they found her body, you know, but it's still unsolved on who killed her. You know, it, I'll never forget the, the time I asked her, like, you sure she doesn't have a jealous ex, you know, who probably might have got out of jail? You sure you wasn't the jealous one? And as soon as she read that message, she unfriended me, she blocked me. It, And then a couple days later, that account got reported and banned. I, I saved the screenshot, and when I went to go uh, share the screenshot on my new FB account, it, it had that, um, like a lightning zigzag thing, you know, like a broken window, image broken or something like that. Because I was going to share that screenshot of that message I sent her. I was going to say, she unfriended me and blocked me over asking her this. Can someone else... Can someone else ask her what I asked her? See if she does the same to you. But it, it was one of those photos that I couldn't share because uh, Big Tech had something to do with it. Because every now and then, you know, I'll, I'll go through my uh, camera roll. I'll go through everything that I've saved from online, pictures, vids. And it'll usually show like a gray white picture with a zigzag through it, you know, like, make it look like a broken window, you know, like, it'll say image broken or something, or a broken image, you know, and I can't, and I'll try and click on it to see if it's just a fuck up with the device, but usually every time I click on it, the picture won't show it, it won't even expand to the full width of the screen. And I, I don't, it just, but yeah, and, and, and because of that comment that I was reading, it prompted me to watch this shit, Constantine. I mean, I, I got it on my voodoo, but. Every time I do use Voodoo, fucking Sony gets to uh, being nosy and shit. You know, it'll start doing that text to speech thing all on its own. You know, it does that thing like Netflix does? Are you still there? Are you watching? You psycho, sicko stalkers. So yeah, I used to HBO Max because you know I, I wouldn't get interrupted throughout so the whole movie. I mean, look, it's fucking two hours long. If I watched this on Voodoo, I probably would have gotten interrupted four times, maybe five. But on HBO Max, I, I don't get interrupted at all. And the only thing that's going to stop me from watching it on HBO Max is if there's an interesting comment that I didn't want to skip reading. But yeah. I 
I mean, th this movie is alright. I mean, <sighs> but the, that comment that they, they wouldn't let me post, so that's why I made this video. That they wouldn't let me post that comment. And that's why I'm forced to do this video. Because it was speaking bad against females.